Okay, let's kick off this particular lesson by opening up, assuming you even closed it, the project we created in the previous lesson. Now it's called Media Project right up here, and it's in the Working Files folder for this particular chapter in a folder called Project Media. Go ahead and open it up. What we're talking about first is getting information off of, say, a digital camera, DSLR, maybe your smartphone, iPhone, iPad, ay ay ay, pulling it off of devices like that. So with this project open, go over to the word Add Media and go down to Photos from Cameras or Devices. I've got three devices hooked up, but remember, I had to hook them up. So I went into my resource manual for my Nikon camera and found out how to do that. It's actually very easy. It's a USB connection, just like my iPhone and my iPad. If I come up here, there are the three devices. So if I decide I want to pull images off my iPhone, I can come right here. Go ahead and click. And, well, there they are. Let's go into my D2XS, DSLR camera. So I've got a few photographs on here. They're JPEGs. Now, it really doesn't matter what device you have. The options are going to be basically the same. Number one, what ones do you want to download? You want them all? Leave them checked. You want to do just one, and you've got 57 checked? Do you want to unclick 56 of them? No, uncheck all. And then just maybe select the ones you want. In my case, I want them all. Over here, where do you want them? Now, it will default to a specific folder on your hard drive based on Mac or Windows. I'm on a Mac, so it's going to go into my Pictures folder. Basically, it's the same thing on a Windows system. You can change that right here if you want to. Do you want to create a subfolder, which I usually like to do, say with today's date on it? Rename the files. Now, you can change the names to anything that you want, even a custom name. But you can also save the current file names in XMP, which means if for whatever reason you want to come back six months from now and you want them, you'll still have those names if you want them. Down here, you can apply metadata. Like, for example, I'm the creator, so. And a copyright? Sure, why not? One of Kind Productions Incorporated. Everything else is ready. Actually, there is one other thing. You might not be seeing what I'm seeing right here. There is a button down here that says Standard Dialog. That's the Standard Dialog. I wanted all the stuff. So in advance, you get a few more things. I've got them all checked. Got my metadata the way I want it. Everything else is the way I want it. Get Media. Depending on the files, how big they are, how many you have, could take a bit of time. But as you can see, there they are. Now, the process itself is pretty straightforward. We had a camera. We understood how to hook it up. The camera was turned on. And we did a simple extraction from that particular device. Doesn't matter what the device is, just follow the rules. For example, on my Nikon, it recommended that I turn the device off. I plug in the cable, plug it into my computer, USB. I'll be honest with you, I've done it both ways, and I've never had a problem. However, it's always best to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. If you have a digital camera, a smartphone, whatever, and you can plug it into your computer and extract information using, say, proprietary programs, then you should be able to do it this way, too. Now, I'm not going to save this mainly because you don't have this. This was off of my camera. If you downloaded some off of your DSLR, if you want to, go ahead and save it but we won't be using it again in this chapter. 